Uh, so, Craig, you were moderating a session this morning. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Yeah, the session was uh, on lead acid technology and sort of the advances we're seeing and the potential we see for lead acid technology to continue uh, improving performance and, and being relevant. Okay. And so which is better then, lead acid or lithium ion? Well, that's a provocative question. And the answer for me is, is they both have their merits, they both have their strengths, and both have some weaknesses. And what I see happening in the market is lead acid continues to participate very, very strongly in automotive applications where its strengths are reliability, safety, recyclability, and very, very uh, competitive cost structures. What I do see is lithium ion coming into the market in applications, for instance, like 48 volt systems where the benefits of lithium ion in terms of charge power and cycle life really make it um, valuable and, and relevant for those kinds of applications. Okay. Do you think that lead acid would always have a place then? Yeah, I think between the, the fact that, that it presents such a good value equation with, with the low cost and very, very reliable known performance, um, combined with the fact that there's still room to develop the technology and improve its performance, I, I see it being around for a long time. But do you think eventually that there'll be another battery chemistry overtaking them? both? Well, you know, there's always that potential. Now, I, I spend a lot of my time looking at new and advanced technologies and trying to predict what's going to be relevant in the market in the long term. And, and I think the thing we always have to remember is, you know, lead acid has had more than 100 years in automotive applications to get to the level of maturity that it's achieved. Lithium ion has only had roughly 10 years. It's still got a long ways to go before it's mature. So when we see new technologies and we see the potential for new technologies, we have to be patient because in this, in this business, things don't happen real fast. They take a long time to mature over time. So we'll see. There's always that potential. But I, I think that both lead acid and lithium-ion have, have a, a strong future. Okay. So you've... you've